What's poppin' people? Ha ha ha, I had to take a storybook out of Noah's page there. We're down today at the 2020 Atlanta Boat Show. It's been a number of years since I've gone to the boat show. Don't know why, I always enjoyed it, I loved it. Used to vend here, you know, and have a booth and it just kind of wore me out on boat shows for a while. So I'm back, we're gonna go in here and see how much cool stuff we can see. I'll show you some cool boats, introduce you to some people I know in the industry, and we're gonna go have a little fun. So come on, let's go. I'm the owner of Barletta Boat Company. I want to walk you through a new floor plan we have, and it's my new favorite. Um, we kind of changed the industry with our Ultra Lounge, and if you see the video I did uh, early on in our company, um, we did stuff different than anybody. I'm, uh, I'm going to show you something new in a new floor plan. I think it's pretty, pretty special. Lounging is great, and I'll show you that we can do that. But for us, you might want to read a book. Kids might be tubing. You might be watching fireworks or a concert or whatever. We've got a great seat for three people here. Now, this is where it gets even more special. So then, with the flip of this back here, this folds away super easily. Now, I have a forward-facing lounger. And I'll say this, my previous boat, a non-Barletta, years ago, was when those two loungers came out. They seemed neat at the time, but they had one dimension, rear facing. That was all, and they were isolated. With this one, and our, and our current ultra lounge does the same. Now you're facing forward, so when you're going down the water, you got the wind in your face, you get to see what's coming at you. You're not just looking out the back and going, oh, I missed that, I missed that. You get to see everything. My wife, and I said it originally, she won't sit backwards in a moving vehicle. I don't care what it is. So she loves the forward facing part. So then, with another quick flip, and again, very solid, nothing Mickey Mouse, you know, it's just easy and intuitive, and all your high-end boats use the same kind of mechanism. Flip that like that, and then we have the conventional rear-facing lounger, again, like everybody else. So now, when, uh, when the activity's out the rear, fully covered, both in a lounger position and in a seating position. All right, what's up people? We're down here at the Gwinnett Marine booth. These are the fantastic guys who took care of Noah and got him his boat. Y'all know Kicking Their Bass TV. If you don't, go down and subscribe. Look, I'll leave a link. But this is real similar to what Noah's boat is. He's running a Ranger boat. Ranger uh, basically helps Noah out. He's, they're fantastic to him. And I don't think you can buy a better bass boat than a Ranger boat. I know a lot of you guys might tear me up in the comments. I've ridden in just about every bass boat possible made. And I can tell you when it comes to ride, there is no better than this. There might be faster, but there's no better, I promise you. If you look at the fit and finish that they're doing now on the seats, Look at this carbon fiber look material on here. Fantastic. Black seats will burn your tail in when it's 90 degrees outside. I, don't, I would never order a boat with black seats. You guys pay attention to that if you're gonna go get you a bass boat. But look how beautiful even this new Pro XS is. Look at that Pro SX motor. I've heard a lot of people talk a lot of smack about the way this motor looks. I think it is up to date. It's right here, it's right now. Kind of futuristic looking. It's about time that the people in the boat industry step up their game and start getting things looking like new hotness. This looks like something that would be on a Lamborghini to me. That's why I love it. All you guys that talk all that smack about it, I don't understand. You get with the times. Come on, guys. I know you're listening to the old 90s rock. It's time for you to step up your game and get into the future. 
that's it. It looks hot. All right, guys, we're sitting over here at the display for AVC Marine, which does all the lights and they do all the stereo stuff. He's a good friend of ours and Overboard Designs, which does all the interiors. And of course, this cool paneling that you're seeing is really soft. Um, it's non-slip. It's fantastic for getting wet. You guys would be impressed and love it. She has gone through, of course, ABC has done all the lights and all the stuff on the boat to make it fabulous. All the stereo. And I think you could probably hear it rocking. So what we got is a couple beautiful boat babes up here. I'm going to take you up and show you the interior. And they have completely taken the interior out of this brand spanking new boat and added all this cool stuff to it. It is beautiful. It's fantastic. Of course, it's a Malibu. How awesome is that? That is the subwoofer in the back back there. All the color changing lights. Amplifiers here. How awesome is that? Got a little wine going on over here, ladies. What is this material called? <laughs> Somebody just got shy on me. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard being me, guys. It's hard. It's a tough life. been with ABC here I found one of the coolest boats at the boat show tell me a little bit about all the crazy stuff that's in this boat Ben well what we got is a 2020 Malibu 25 LSV that we loaded up with a bunch of wet sounds equipment and we got a set of rev tens up here on the tower that we custom painted to match the boat uh, we got a pair of 12 inch wet sound subwoofers down here on the, the uh, passenger side look at how the lights change colors with the 12 inch subwoofers underneath how does the sound get out of there, Ben? It bends out through the side of the gun on the side of the boat. Oh, it's so awesome. And then we have another 15-inch woofer hidden behind this grill right here. A custom-built grill, and you see the lights on that also. A little ABC logo going on. A 15-inch subwoofer behind there? Yes, that is sir. incredible. And then a 12-inch ported subwoofer underneath the helm. 12-inch subwoofer right facing into the driver. With a slew of I like, underneath the dash. I like this camera. You guys can see everybody walking behind there. There's pretty fatty in the background. 
Where are the amplifiers all the at? Amplifiers are inside the observer. I'm gonna see if I can get in here to show you show you guys the amplifiers. Again, changing colors, all the amplifiers up front. That is <laughs> so trick. I've never seen anything like this, Ben. Thank you. How many, pretty good. How many watts total are in this boat? Uh, probably about, about 7,000. 7,000 7, watts in this boat. Yeah. And tell me about the mids and highs and how many are there? There are actually all the 8 inch wet sound speakers. These are actually a factory in here. Yeah, there's four sets of eight-inch speakers on the uh, mid ranges. Four sets, four sets of four eight, pairs. four yeah. pairs. So a total of eight speakers for the highs and lows. Yeah. Then a twelve. Yep. A fifteen. Fifteen and two, two twelves on seven thousand watts. I don't know if you guys will pick this up in the GoPro, but I'm going to try to let him turn that up for you. I'm sure it will drown out this GoPro, but. Give it a little bit of gas. It gets down in boogies. Oh, now the song just changed. So now you're going to have to wait. This boat is unbelievable. That is so cool right there. I can't believe that there's actually a 12 inch subwoofer sitting behind there. It's kind of drowning out the. I didn't even see that. The Malibu logo is on the back of the box. It's hard to pick up. I don't know if you guys will pick up this bass, but just give it a little bit. <laughs> I know that that GoPro is not picking that up, but it is shaking me from my feet to my head. And it rocks loud and it is bad ass. If you guys need some stereo equipment, you need to go check out AVC. I'll leave their link below.